Imagine telling your AI assistant, find my top competitors, compare prices, and make a PowerPoint. And it actually does it. No follow-ups, no clicking, no drag and drop. That's what just happened. OpenAI launched something massive, ChatGPT Agent, an autonomous AI that doesn't just respond to prompts, it completes entire workflows. This goes way beyond anything we've seen. It can browse the web, pull real data, run code, even build editable spreadsheets and presentations, all inside its own secure virtual computer. It's like having a digital employee that doesn't sleep. So what exactly can it do? How does it work? And why is the internet freaking out? Let's break down how this update just changed the AI game permanently. Let's start with the basics. ChatGPT Agent isn't just an update, it's a complete transformation of how AI works with you. Unlike traditional chatbots that just give you text responses, this agent actually performs tasks. It's like hiring a smart virtual assistant that knows how to use a computer. The big breakthrough, it runs inside its own virtual machine, a sandboxed computer environment in the cloud. That means it can open apps, run tools, interact with websites, and manage files without touching your device. This isn't just helping you think it's doing the work, and you don't need to micromanage it. You give a high-level instruction like, compare these companies and make me a slide deck, and it'll do the research, find pricing, build charts, and deliver a real editable PowerPoint file. It's not faking it, it's executing full workflows. This makes ChatGPT agent the first truly autonomous assistant available to the public. It's not about writing poems or summarizing PDFs. It's about finishing tasks just like a teammate would. That's what makes it revolutionary. Before this breakthrough, OpenAI already had early versions of AI agents in development and each step built toward what we now see with ChatGPT Agent. First, there was Operator. That tool could navigate the web, click links, type into forms, and act like a person using a browser. It was clunky but fascinating. Then came Deep Research, more of a background tool that scoured dozens of web pages, pulled key insights, and delivered well-organized summaries. It didn't interact, but it was very good at understanding. What OpenAI has done now is combine the best of both. They've taken the action-oriented nature of Operator, layered in the research skills of deep research, and plugged it all into ChatGPT's already powerful conversational brain. But they added something else, tools. The agent now has access to a terminal, so it can write and run code, visual and text-based browsers, so it can interact and summarize, and secure connectors to apps like Gmail, Google Calendar, and GitHub. This isn't just a clever AI, it's a system. System, a smart, flexible, goal-oriented system that listens to your prompt, figures out how to get the job done, and then executes using real-world digital tools. It's a different species of AI, and it's finally here. Let's make this real. What kind of things can ChatGPT Agent actually handle? Imagine you're launching a new product. You ask it, find three competitors, compare their pricing, and generate a slide deck summarizing the differences. The agent will open its browser, research those companies, pull pricing data, create vector-based graphs and generate an editable PowerPoint, you get a professional slide deck without ever opening a single tab. Now let's say you're planning a dinner. We usur eight. Plan a Japanese-style breakfast for four and order the ingredients online. It'll find authentic recipes, create a shopping list, browse grocery stores, fill up your cart, and wait for you to log in to confirm the order. It handles 90% of the task and you just give the final approval. The magic is in how autonomous it is. You don't need to guide each step. You give the task, it figures out the rest. If something stalls, you can pause it, take over, or ask for a progress update. You're not micromanaging, you're delegating. This isn't a toy or novelty feature. It's a true productivity tool that's ready to be used right now by freelancers, business owners, marketers, developers, anyone who values time and wants smart automation. So how smart is it really? Let's look at the numbers and they're pretty wild. In one of the most grueling academic benchmarks, dubbed Humanity's Last Exam, ChatGPT Agent scored 41.6% on its first try. That's almost twice as high as OpenAI's earlier GPT models. And when it was allowed to try multiple approaches and pick the most confident answer, it jumped to 44.4%. Still think it's a fluke? Let's go deeper. On the Frontier Math benchmark, which features problems so complex they stump 
experts, the agent scored 27.4% with tool use enabled. That's massive. GPT-4 Mini, for context, only managed 6.3%. That's more than four times improvement just by giving the agent access to tools like a terminal. But academic tests are one thing. What about real world jobs? Open A, I tested it on finance tasks like building amortization schedules and modeling mergers tasks that professional analysts do. And guess what? In about half the cases, chat GPT agent matched or beat top human performers. This isn't just good for a robot, it's getting professional level outcomes. And that's a game changer. We've seen AI write text, but spreadsheet logic, slide design, that's where chat GPT agent really starts to impress. OpenAI ran it through Spreadsheet Bench, a brutal 912 question test of real life Excel challenges. In a controlled LibreOffice setup, the agent hit 35.27%, but when was it allowed to directly edit actual Excel files? It jumped to 45.54%. That might not sound flashy until you compare it to Excel Copilot, which sits at around 20%. Chat GPT agent more than doubles it. And humans? The top score there is about 71%. So yes, humans are still ahead, but the agent is over halfway there and rapidly catching up. Same story with slide decks. These aren't throwaway slides or AI images. ChatGPT agent creates native PowerPoint files with editable graphs, text blocks, and layouts. You can open them, tweak them, and present them just like a human made them. It's not just writing ideas, it's formatting, structuring, and designing full deliverables. And if you've ever spent hours formatting spreadsheets or making decks for work, you know exactly how valuable that is. Let's talk about one of ChatGPT Agent's most powerful features, real web browsing. This isn't just opening a link and reading a page. The agent navigates, clicks, scrolls, fills forms, and extracts information in a way that feels eerily human and incredibly efficient. It was tested in two benchmark environments, BrowseComp and WebArena. In BrowseComp, where agents have to dig through websites to find hard to locate answers, ChatGPT Agent scored an industry best 68.9%, outperforming previous models like deep research by a wide margin. In Web Arena, a test designed to mimic real online tasks, it beat the previous generation operator model decisively. But here's the game changer. It doesn't just find information, it uses it. Let's say you're trying to find the best deal on a piece of software. It can go to pricing pages, extract the differences, and drop that into a side-by-side -side comparison. It can handle drop downs, search boxes, even complex forms. No more switching tabs and copying data. It's not a search Search engine, it's a personal digital worker that's trained to browse, interpret, act, and deliver results all within your prompt. And yes, you can take over at any time or get a live update on what it's doing. Let's open the hood and see what makes ChatGPT agent tick. Unlike regular chat models that just output text, this one operates in a full virtual machine, a secure cloud-based computer that runs independently of your own device. This gives it freedom to access powerful tools like a terminal for executing code or scripts, a visual browser for human-like interaction, a text browser for lightning fast reading and filtering, file systems for downloading, editing, and re-uploading documents. The agent can switch tools mid-task based on what's needed. It might start by browsing, then use the terminal to run Python code, and finally return results in a neat summary or spreadsheet all in one conversation. And it remembers the context within each session. So if you ask it to download a CSV, clean it up in Python, and visualize the data it can carry all of that forward seamlessly. All of this runs in a sandboxed environment, meaning there's no risk to your computer. It's efficient, private, and secure, and it means the agent can handle more complex workflows without losing track or requiring restarts. It's a full digital assistant running on demand. Here's where things get really exciting. ChatGPT Agent can integrate with your actual apps. OpenAI introduced something called Connector Secure API Bridges that link the agent to platforms like Gmail, Google Calendar, and GitHub. Once authenticated, the agent can summarize emails, scan for upcoming events, analyze your repo's commit history, or even draft replies. Don't worry, it can't log in by itself. You still have to confirm access manually, and none of your login data is visible or saved by the agent. But once 
once you're connected, it can move freely through your data and automate tasks inside your favorite tools. Need to schedule a meeting? It can check your calendar, suggest time slots, and even email invites. Got a backlog of unread emails? It'll give you the highlights in seconds. This kind of deep integration is where AI becomes truly useful, not just answering questions, but managing your digital life. And because it runs independently on a virtual machine, it won't slow down your browser or crash your apps. It's your own full stack assistant, trained to keep up with the pace of real work and help you stay focused on what matters. With great power comes potential risk and open. A, I knows it. That's why they built the ChatGPT agent with the most advanced safety system they've ever deployed. Let's break it down. First, there's real-time monitoring. Every input is scanned to detect if it relates to sensitive fields like biology or chemistry. If it does, a second filter analyzes whether the prompt could enable harm. Only safe outputs get through. Second, the agent has no memory. That's right, unlike regular ChatGPT, this version doesn't remember past chats. Why? Because because memory can be exploited. Disabling it prevents clever prompt attacks from extracting or leaking data. Then there's prompt injection protection. Imagine a hacker hiding malicious commands in invisible text on a web page. If an AI agent reads that text, it could be tricked into doing something harmful. OpenAI trained the agent specifically to detect and ignore those traps. Before any high stakes action like sending an email or making a purchase, the agent asks for your confirmation. Plus, there's a watch mode where you can monitor monitor everything it does in real time and stop it at any point. Add in one-click privacy tools, session logouts, and invisible password protection during logins, and you've got a safety stack that sets a new standard. So when can you use this thing? The rollout is already happening, but with a few limitations. If you're a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, you should have access to agent mode now with up to 400 message credits per month. Team accounts will get it next, starting at 40 messages monthly with upgrade options available. Enterprise and education users are coming soon. If you're in the European Economic Area or Switzerland, hang tight, the launch is delayed there due to compliance reviews. Some features are still in beta. For example, slide creation is working but formatting isn't always perfect and it doesn't yet support uploading your own decks for editing. That's in development now. There's one more twist. This launch will change how the web works. If you're a developer, SEO expert, or online seller, you need to rethink how your content is structured. AI agents need clearly labeled tables, forms, headings, and pricing. Why? Because the cleaner your structure, the more these agents can interact with and act on your site. We're no longer just building websites for humans, we're optimizing for AI workflows too. This is a new digital era and it's already started. So here's the bottom line. ChatGPT agent isn't just another AI upgrade. It's a whole new way to work, automate and build. It doesn't just give you ideas. It actually gets things done. Whether it's creating presentations, handling spreadsheets, managing emails or running entire workflows, this thing is built to perform. And in some cases, it's already outpacing real people. If you've been waiting for the right time to start something, a business, a side hustle, or even just a smarter way to get work done. Now's the moment. ADI isn't a future concept anymore. It's here, it's real, and it's changing everything. So the real question is, are you going to lead with it or get left behind? Thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, give it a like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.